truth. Madam Speaker, I pray, Madam Speaker, to introduce a private member's bill entitled the Administration of Parliament Amendment Bill, a draft which is attached here to or my motion. So I pray. Thank you. Do you want to justify your motion? Yes, Madam Speaker, thank you very much. Madam Speaker, election is the epitome of the opposition. I mean, to hold the leader of the opposition or the chief whip accountable, cognizant of the need to entrench democratic principles in electing a leader of the opposition in the parliament and chief opposition whip as a representative of all members of opposition in the parliament. Now, therefore, be it resolved that parliament grants me leave, Madam Speaker, I pray, Madam Speaker, to introduce a private member's bill entitled the Administration of Parliament Amendment Bill, a draft which is attached here to or my motion. So I pray. Thank you. Do you want to justify your motion? Yes, Madam Speaker, thank you very much. Madam Speaker, election is the epitome of democracy. Madam Speaker, even the Pope will come from the Holy See. As Catholics, I'm a Catholic. There is an election of the Pope, the highest and respected leader in the world. If there is an election there, there must be an election here. We are in the opposition, Madam Speaker. When we are elected, we came here. By that time, you are not the speaker. We also elected you, Madam Speaker. The very reason why you are sitting in that seat. We also elect the president. Every five years, there is election in Uganda. Therefore, there is no reason when we come to parliament as members of the opposition, we don't elect our leader, who is the leader of opposition. I want to pray before you members of parliament that it is important that the pillar of democracy, which is election, should actually be done by us, the opposition, who are actually about to take power. So I thank you very much, Madam Speaker. The justification is, is, is just clear and right on the wall. We need an election clear in the opposition. Other there, than there that, is an order. Madam Speaker, I feel very sad to put my very, very good friend, Honorable Lemu, on order. <laughs> Madam Speaker, when you look at the practice and the framers and those who enacted the Parliamentary Act, as it stands now, there are issues embedded as to why the current arrangement in Parliament is working appropriately. Because when you look at the entire structure of the parliament, we have not had even a situation, for example, in Uganda, where the ruling government elects their uh, party chief whips, where we have uh, the prime ministers being elected, or the ministers even being elected. So this motion is trying to uh, 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 present to us, the members of parliament, he is actually very dangerous. So is he in order? Is the mover of the motion in order to even seek leave to do the obvious, which is actually the best practice ever done in Uganda, done in East Africa, done elsewhere, to amend the parliamentary act? Is he in order? Honorable members, the Administration of Parliament Act 
the section that is quoting is not entrenched. And the honorable member is just seeking leave. The best we can do if we are not in agreement with what the honorable member is saying, we follow this to the committee and fail it at the committee or fail it in the house when it comes for the second reading. But we do not have the mandate to deny a member to seek leave. Attorney General, can we hear from the Attorney General? Attorney General. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker and colleagues, Article 82A of the Constitution provides for the office of the leader of opposition. It says that under a multi-party organization, under the multi-organization or party form of democracy, there shall be in the parliament a leader of the opposition. Clause 2 says parliament shall by law prescribe the following in respect of the leader of opposition. A. How he or she is chosen. And I believe on our rumors motion is on the basis of that. I beg to submit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, honorable members. I continue. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I don't know what would be the problem if there is an election in opposition. There is no problem at all, and my brother would not be scared at this time. Now, defects in the existing legislation is what I want to talk about and stop there. Madam Speaker, in July 2005, Uganda transited from the movement political system to a multi-party political system through a national referenda. The adoption of the multi-party system of governance saw the amendment of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda to create the office of the opposition in the parliament and subsequently in 2006 the amendment of the administration of parliament act cap 272 to provide for the office of the leader of the opposition was enacted section 8 of the administration of parliament act cap 272 provides for the election of the opposition the leader of the opposition by the party in opposition to the government having the greatest numerical strength in parliament. The rules also say, Madam Speaker, that other parties should be consulted. Madam Speaker, my party has never been consulted on that. Whenever there is a new or the other leader of opposition. Section 15 of the Administration of Parliament Act, Cap 272, provides for the appointment of the chief whip by the party in opposition to the government, having the greatest numerical strength in the parliament. This is another leader, Madam Speaker, who is very important on the opposition, who also is not elected. My argument and my prayer is that all those must be elected. I don't want to continue. I want to stop there. Uh -huh. But I pray thank that you. the leave is granted. I thank you. Sir. Thank you. Right Honorable Speaker, before I give my small remarks, allow me to convey greetings from the people of Entebbe. And one of whom One of members, we need to move faster so that we adopt the report of agriculture. Thank you, Right Honorable I Speaker. I mean of infrastructure. Right Honourable Speaker, you have just told us that one of my voters, my resident, is joining us in an hour. Allow me to convey the greetings of the people of Entebbe. In Entebbe, we are cosmopolitan 
and we have quite a number of people from the greater north and I bring greetings to them and I'm here to represent my people of Entebbe who elected me. I want to say this that I do not have any personal vendetta in as far as this uh, motion is concerned. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt, right honorable speaker and colleagues, that this move is going to give us more unity as the opposition and respect for each other. Let us vote for our leaders. What's wrong with that? I am standing here to second this motion, right honorable speaker. In good faith, it will help us, it will build us more, because unity of the opposition means strength of the opposition. Respect for each other means what? Because I must participate in electing my, my, my leader as the opposition. We have seen it many times in parliament, where the leader of opposition thinks that all opposition belongs to his party. In this case, could it, be, it used to be UP, uh, 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 P, uh, FDC, and all the opposition would see ourselves as FDC, and yet not. You see, because we did not participate in electing the leader of opposition, now we are seeing national unity platform. Tomorrow it will be another party. Honorable we didn't party. be we didn't behave like that. I was in FDC. Yes, I want to thank you that you did not. But <laughs> I am getting so scared that I see the opposition in a court as if it is only one part. So I want to bring each and everyone on board through this. That come vote your leader. He will respect you. You will respect him. We shall not have any fight. He will unite us. And by that, it will make us more stronger in the thank you, Thank you. I beg you to move right Thank you. Me. Honorable members, I now put a question that Honorable Mobi granted leave to introduce a private member's bill, the Administration of Parliament Amendment Bill 2024. Those in favor say on the contrary, nay. The eyes have it. Pass one to rule one, two, one, two, three, four of the rules of the procedure. The clerk is hereby instructed to accord the member a requisite support to ensure that, that the bill is tabled for the first reading. Next item. Item, item number 42, motion seeking leave of parliament to introduce a private member's bill, the National Transitional Justice Bill 2024. Father Nen. The National Transitional Justice Bill. This this is one of the bills that came as a petition from the 